Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we're here to bring you the showdown of the year as we pit our two desktop heat transfer printers in a head-to-head -head showdown. In this corner, at 63 pounds, the AA A3 Plus Prestige desktop DTF printer. And in this corner, at 64 pounds, the Uninet iColor White Toner Laser Printer. Before we get started, if this is your first time on the YouTube channel, make sure you go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. And while you're at it, tap that post notification bell so you never miss any of our awesome print related content. Hi, my name is Stephen with All American Print Supply. In today's video, we're gonna compare and contrast our two most popular desktop heat transfer printers. We're gonna look at size, print speed, workflow, hand feel, and more. We're gonna see how these guys stack up against each other. You guys ready to get started? This compact and convenient desktop director film printer has been a hit since release earlier this year. And on this channel, we have tons of coverage going over features, maintenance, troubleshooting, functionality, and more. For a full breakdown on the A3 Plus desktop DTF Prestige printer, you can hit the card right here and return back to the video when you're ready to see how this stacks up against the competition. This next machine has been called the Swiss Army Knife of the print world. I'm talking about the Unit line of white toner laser printers. For more information and a full breakdown on everything Unit, you can hit the link up here, learn more, and swing on back to this video and see how these guys stack up in a head-to-head -head showdown. Now this is a video we want to make here for a long time. This is not a promotional video, this is a battle. Just kidding. In all seriousness, we want to see how these machines, the A3, A desktop DTF prestige printer, matches up against the Uninet line of white toner laser printers. Let's go ahead and load the film. Let's get started by learning the transfer sheets. For the A prestige DTF printer, you're going to load the film with the print side facing up. For the Uninet, depending which tray you're using, the machine will let you know whether to place the print side face up or face down. For the A Prestige, in the CadLink RIP software, we're going to go ahead and open up our image. After I've confirmed our settings are good as far as what paper size, we're going to go ahead and send the job to the printer. For the Uninet, in the ProRIP software, we're going to go ahead and open up our image. After I've confirmed my paper size and my tray settings are all correct, we're going to go ahead and send the job to the printer. For the Prestige, a design of this size on this resolution setting should print approximately 5 minutes. For the Uninet, it is estimated approximately 8 pages per minute with transfer media. Here we have our printed DTF transfer film and our printed A sheet from the Uninet. Now, for my printed DTF transfer film, it's time to apply the hot melting powder. Using a tray or a bin, I like to get a small amount of the powder onto the wet side of the print. And using a couple back and forth motions, create a nice even layer of the hot melting powder to the wet print. Once my print is nice and evenly powdered, I'm going to go ahead and flick the non-print side to remove any excess powder that may be around my image. Next up, for my printed Uninet A sheet, I'm going to go ahead and place the adhesive B sheet directly on top. Now I'm going to fold one corner of that adhesive B sheet, and we'll get to that in a moment. Now it's time to marry these two together. The marry time is going to be 2 minutes, 310 degrees Fahrenheit. Now for my printed DTF transfer film. Let's cure that hot melting powder. Depending on our curing method, this can take between about a minute and 20 seconds to about 2.5 minutes. Now that we've married the Uninet A and B transfer sheets together, we're going to go ahead and rub them using a piece of fabric for about 3 to 5 seconds. Now, using that corner we folded earlier on the adhesive B sheet, we're going to use this as a pull tab to separate the two sheets in a smooth, low, continuous motion. Here we have our ready to apply direct film and Uninet eye color transfers. The next step for both these print methods is what we call the pre-press. We're going to go ahead and close the machine on the garment to lay the fibers down nice and flat for about 5 seconds. Now that we have a smooth application area, let's go ahead and position these transfers onto the garment. All right, let's go ahead and place down a protective cover sheet and apply these transfers. For the AA Prestige DTF printer, application time is gonna be about 15 to 20 seconds using 310 to 320 degrees Fahrenheit. For our Uninet, we're gonna go ahead and apply this 310 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 seconds. And both these transfer methods are listed as cold peel. So once they've returned back to normal room temperature, we can go ahead and remove the film and that A sheet. Okay, last step guys, we're almost done. For the AA Prestige DTF transfer, we're gonna perform a finishing press at the same temperature for about five seconds. And over here on the Uninet, we're also gonna perform a finishing press, same temperature, but this one will be for 20 seconds. And there we have it. Let's take a look at these beautifully applied and finished transfers. As you can see, both machines offer unique compact designs to prepare transfers for application, distribution, or storage for later use. And with the included white color pigment element of both machines, you can cover all your different colored garments across the board. Both machines come with awesome warranty, easy user replaceable parts. So a lot to love about both these awesome machines and the user friendly software. To highlight the prestige specifically, this machine includes white ink circulation, has a very low user learning curve, 
easy refillable bulking system on the side and produces garments with tremendous hand feel. There's a lot to love about the Unionet line of white toner laser printers as well. The white pigment in these machines is actually a true fluorescent white, meaning it'll show up under UV. Additionally, there's no inkjet based maintenance with a toner printer. That's all out the window. Additionally, we can also enjoy non-transfer applications such as menus, brochures, decals, labels, and more. And with the high toner, high yield, high capacity drums in the system, we can enjoy very low cost per print, and it offers an adjustable and interchangeable sublimation ink configuration. You know, my favorite part about showdowns like this, there's really no wrong answer. At All American Print Supply, we're proud to offer business solutions for every production volume, every budget, every environment. So again, no real wrong answer. For more information on both these awesome equipment pieces or to learn how they can benefit you and your business, be sure to visit us at aaprintsupplyco.com. That's pretty much gonna wrap it up for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this head-to-head -head showdown between the AA Desktop DTF Prestige Printer and the Unit line of white toner laser equipment. I think that's gonna wrap it up. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you on the next one.